Let's go. You should always stay focused. Boys and girls, my fellow ballers and ballerettes, how is y'all doing? We are back in the Scorpion Universe, the Hootie Conversation, Chapter 2. How is you? I'm doing good, man. As for myself, I'm doing good and doing great. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say I'm doing great. I'm trying to keep my mind sharp because, as you know, if and if you don't, you know, here in Montreal, Canada, we don't have basketball to play. Nothing is uh, open gyms. You know, if you want to go grow your muscles or you have any, like, community centers, if you want to go take a few shots, but unfortunately, everything's closed because of, you already know the answer, so I'm not going to say it. We're not going to go there. But this is this has been since let me think real quick I guess September September I guess in September that um, yeah I guess it was since uh, September September that everything's closed so everything's closed you know since the 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 chap the last the last chapter five I guess I I put it was the last dance I called it as well that was the last day that everything was open officially like. You know, bars and restaurants or gyms and everything. Everything is closed now since then. And it's tough. Why? Because I miss I just I just miss playing, man. That's all. I miss playing basketball, being around the guys, you know, the competition and just everything that surrounds basketball uh, itself. Uh, even because I, I I play all, all all the the modes if you want to you call it the three on three mode mode four on four mode five on five mode, uh, it's not an issue. I just love playing ball. So if and now it's been a very long time since I haven't played ball, and I miss it. And top of that, you know I'm a little jealous of seeing the guys because I watch videos on the. On YouTube, right? So I watch T Jazz and Friga, Devante Friga, and other guys as too. And you know they're still able to play ball, and that's like the saddest part of on my side is that damn man, they they still have you know the luxury of playing ball, man. I miss it. And you know when they they get inside the the gyms or community centers, they they have that little thing. I don't know how they call it. They put they put it on your on your. Uh, on your forehead to check your temperature and if if you're good to go you're good to go you go play and if not well i guess they send you back home you know i only wish we could have that here man so you know it just give us just to give a, a an opportunity to those who are not sick to keep doing what they do right anyways that's another that's besides the story i was just like you know sh sharing thoughts real quick but Back with the hoodie conversation. What are we talking about today? We are talking about efficiency, how to be efficient. What does it mean to be efficient? And what does it take to be efficient, right? So being efficient, what it is, huh? right? It means that you are able to make shots, you know, in a high volume and in a precise mode. When I say precise mode, it means that you are able to good to get a good percentage in the volume of the shots that you're taking versus the shots that you're making, right? So if you take 20 shots and if you drop at least, you know, 12, 13, 14 shots out of 20 shots, you have a good percentage, which means you are efficient. Don't be fooled by what we're seeing uh, on TV, NBA, yeah, NCAA, it's different. But NBA, keep in mind that it's a show, first of all, to the crowd, right? They change a few rules so that people can come and watch a good show, right? So, do you want to be that guy who takes like 45 shots in a game? Hey, if you're the star, you're the star, right? Because this is how the system works when it comes to the NBA system, right? But think about it. You take 45 shots. You take at least, you know, 20, let's say 20, 20 shots randomly. Like, you, you take out 20 shots overall 
of your teammates so that can, so that they, they can stay involved in the game. Because 45 shots in the game, it's a lot. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot of shots that you are taking in one game. So at least that inside those 45 shots, there's 20 shots that could randomly go to each one of your teammates. And because you take that from them, eventually maybe you know confidence is going to slightly go on the way down and eventually what's going to happen they're probably going to miss the shot when you're going to need them need them the most because they their mind is not really into the game anymore because you take so many shots at a certain point they'd be like he's not going to pass me the ball and then when you when they receive the ball they'd be like oh you know so you want you want to you want your teammates to stay ready, you want your teammates to stay sharp so that when things get a little difficult, a little harder because maybe you're playing against a tough opponent, you're going to need your guys or girls. You know, you're going to need your teammates to make buckets as well. So being a volume shooter has is downfall. All right? So you can be the first option and not, necessar not, not necessarily take all these shots, right? You just have to be efficient. So you can drop shots whenever you have the ball. And when you have the ball, you can make something with it. Not necessarily like scoring all the time, but you take all the good decisions that can make you, that can put your team in a good position to win the game, right? Because... Being efficient, trust me, doesn't mean you have to take 40 shots. You can take less shots and be as dangerous on the court than you can possibly Im imagine. All right, so what does it take? I mean, what what does that in the incorporate, involve being efficient, right? Because obviously, yeah, you're training, you work out, you have to work your body, you need to work your, by training your body, you train your mind by being prepared for these moments, right? And when you train your body, you train your cardio because at a certain point, maybe you will have to take more shots that you usually take if ever force, when push comes to shove, you know, if ever, and you, your 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 training needs to put you in that environment all the time. Like I said last time, don't put all your money on your skills, because trust me, your skills might let you down one game. Because if your mind cracks, the skills are gone. All right. So what does it take? Think about it. You want to be the first option. You want the ball in your hands. There's a lot of things you need to, you need to accept. You don't choose. You have to, right? It comes with a box. Oh, you want to be you want to be the guy. You want the ball in your hand. You want to be the first option. You want to be the the guy who takes all the shots. Here's a box for you. Inside inside that box, there's a lot of things that you will you will have to accept. Not that you will have to choose and say that. Let me open the box and see what's what's inside. You know oh, that I don't like. No, when you start to pick and choosing, your level is going down as well. Think about it. When you watch games, like I said before, the crowd screaming, yelling, screaming at you, telling you stuff. You suck. You're not good enough. Your opponent, the defender in front of you, trying to steal the ball, trying to, try to stop you from scoring, you know? Coaches, referees, all that noise, as stupid as it may sound, all of that are factors that you need to embrace. And, and I really mean you need to embrace, accept, because if you start picking and choosing one of those things I just mentioned, you cannot be the first option. Your efficiency will suffer because of that you can train as, you can train as hard as you want right even though i said training is super important but there's things that you need to accept you need to see beyond beyond what you're seeing right now you you have to look into the future you need to go further than what you're seeing right now 
in order to understand what's coming for you. And being that guy, that girl, by being efficient means that all these things you need to accept it and say, you know what, I have to deal with it. Now pass me the ball. I will take care of it. If you don't, then you you know you can possibly be a second option. Third, don't let your ego fool you and say that no man, you can do this. You can do this, man. You can do this. No. Because all these little things around you make affects you, affects your mind. And when your mind is affected, it's like poisoned, what happened? You want to start missing shot. And all suddenly you're not efficient. So yes, the workout, the training itself is super important, but you need to see beyond that. When you talk to your trainer, you can talk talk to him about that. Say, you know, when I get into the court, I get nervous. The people, the crowd, the pressure, the plays, I have to remember and everything. And sometimes it makes me forget. It makes me it makes my focus being fragile and I'm missing shots. These things you need to embrace. You need to embrace it. You don't have a choice. And if you're not comfortable with that, you need to be at least that that much mature to say, you know what? I'm going to give this guy or this girl the ball because she knows what to do under the pressure when people are getting crazy around us. She stays calm. He stays calm. He's collected. You know, ice in his veins. He knows what to do. He's not afraid of the pressure. I'm going to be the second guy. I'm going to pass him the ball. I'm going I'm to do what I have to do to get him free or get her free to do what needs to be done to win the game. All right. So the other thing, yeah, you need to train your body. Train your body as much as, as hard as you can because you want to stay efficient for a longer period. You don't want to be efficient for four quarters. You don't train so that your body is only trained for four quarters. Train your body for three overtimes. I'm serious. Train your body for overtime one, two, and three. Because you never know, man. It might be, today might be the day that you're facing a team who's going to give you the hardest game that you, can, that you can possibly play. And when it comes to the fourth quarter, if you're tired, your efficiency is going to, shoo. you don't want that. You don't want that. You give everything that you, that you, that you have for the last five minutes because you want, to, you want to take the game away, but the team on the other side is not going away and they keep making buckets and you keep scoring. Fourth quarter is over, overtime. There's two scenarios to that. If you don't train your body, you don't train your cardio. You get to the bench, and you could be like this. <sighs> get it right. Water. My legs are tired. Oh, man. <sighs> man. What's wrong with these guys? I thought we had the game. Are you good, Max? Yeah. My legs are tired. Well, I'm good. No. By keep saying that my legs are tired, my legs is going to be like 20 times tired than they, that they are right now because I am keep sending messages to saying that my legs are tired. I'm tired. I'm out of breath. My legs are tired. I'm out of breath. My legs are tired. My legs are tired. I'm out of breath. You keep repeating that. And when you're going to stand up, you're going to be like, oh my God, I'm tired. And it's too late. Over time, you lose. Or if you train your body, like I said, like it was over time one, two, and three, Fourth quarter over, you sit down. You good? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go, guys. We got this. We got it. Get it ready. Okay, I'm good. We good. Let's go. Catching my breath. I'm good. Okay, let's go. One, two, win. You see the difference? Because your body is trained. Your body is ready for that. And your efficiency, if ever you pick up heat in that overtime, Efficiency, if efficiency goes to the roof, you're not tired, you're not breathing hard, and what's going to happen maybe the defender in front of you is like <sighs> he's trying to play your defense as much as he as much as he can, but he's tired, his legs are heavy, and then what what's the scenario the scenario for you? Like Shaq saying all the time, barbecue chicken. You see, so there's a lot of things you need to to. To, to work on, accept, deal with, comprehend in order to have your efficiency always effective, dangerous.
All right? So don't don't pick and choose. Don't pick and choose. If you really signed up to be what you want to be, which is the first option, that box that your coaches are going to give you as you progress, college, pro, NBA, whatever, here in Montreal is high school, college, university, and then after university, you can go wherever you want to go. But whoever gives you that box, you take it and you have to work with it. So I'm going to roll the tape. Shout out to Uncle Drew, Big Charles. They train with me. And uh, like I always said, fundamentals are good. As boring as they are, they are your best friend when it comes to playing the game. So where are we, my fellow ladies and gents? We are in the Scorpion universe. So I haven't forget you. We are rolling the tape. I see you soon. And be efficient.